Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating an infinite sum where r is between negative 1 and 1 because I would like to get a congruent sum from my normal sum which is 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed r to the fourth power dot dot dot. So in order to find this sum and what kind of sum are we looking at? These are perfect squares 1, 4, 9, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and find this sum from this sum. How do you find that? We're going to be manipulating this expression to find the answer. So I start with something that I know. If r is between negative 1 and 1, then this sum equals, because it's convergent, I can write it as 1 over 1 minus r. So how do we manipulate this expression to get what we need? So we're going to manipulate the left-hand side, and then oh, obviously that's going to be the same thing on the right-hand side. So. Let's take a look at this expression. We have perfect square coefficients. When you get perfect squares from sums? Well, if you add odd numbers, you get perfect squares. For example, if you add 1, just 1 by itself is 1 squared. If you add 1 plus 3, you get 2 squared. If you add 1 plus 3 plus 5, you get 3 squared, so on and so forth. There is a really nice proof of this, but let's talk about it later and just get on with the problem. So how can I use this idea here in this expression to get perfect square coefficients. Well, here's what I can do. I'm going to start with this expression here. Let me write a couple terms. And obviously this is equal to 1 over 1 minus r. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding more terms to this. So I'm going to stack up all these series and add them together. So since I'm trying to get perfect squares, I should be adding r plus 3r. That's going to give me 4r. But I also need, I also need 9r squared, so I would need to make 5 first, I mean 4 first, which is 3r squared, and then add 5r squared. So notice that in this column, I'm getting 9r squared, and in this column, I'm getting 4r, which is cool. Now let's continue. I want to get 16r cubed, right? That's what I need. So to get 16r cubed, I should be adding 3r cubed, and then 5r cubed, but that's not enough. I also need 7r cubed. So this tells us that we're going to be stacking up all these series with different coefficients, but they're all odd numbers. And adding them up, of course, this is going to go on forever. And at the end, whatever we find here, we're going to add those expressions. So that's basically what I have on the left-hand side. But how do I find each of these sums? Let me go ahead and show you each one of these work them out here so that we can put it all together. So let's start with the second one. We, the first one I already know. But if you look at the second one carefully, you'll notice that I can just pull out a 3r and the rest is just going to be 1 plus, so let me go ahead and work it out here. Maybe there's more room. So 3r multiplied by 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed. And that's going to continue. Since I already know this sum inside the parentheses, that's 1 over 1 minus r from here. I can just go ahead and plug it in, and this should give me 3r over 1 minus r. So that's going to be the sum of my second series. We're going to put these all together at the end. So let's go ahead and find this one. We found the second one, and let's find the third one. For the third one, I basically have something similar, but the only difference is I have 5r squared, 5r cubed, 5r to the fourth power, so on and so forth. And this sum here gives me 5r squared multiplied by the quantity 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed dot 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 and as you know this is equal to 5r squared over 1 minus r for the same reason that we used here because we already know the sum inside the parentheses which is 1 over 1 minus r and I can just go ahead and multiply it by 5r squared to get what I need. This is going to be my third sum and our first sum is 1 over 1 minus r remember that and then we're going to be putting all these together, but to get a, the to get the pattern, let me do one more one one more time, and then we're going to put these together. And the next one that I'm getting from here is basically going to be the one that has seven in it. So let's go ahead and write that down. It starts with seven r cubed, so seven r cubed plus seven r to the fourth power plus seven r to the fifth power, dot dot dot. And this sum can basically be written as seven r cubed times the quantity one plus r plus r squared plus r cubed plus dot dot dot. It goes on forever, right? And obviously the expression inside the parentheses is 1 over 1 minus r when I multiply it by 7r cubed 
it should give me 7r cubed over 1 minus r. So great. We were able to express all these sums, not all of them, but at least we got the first four in terms of r. So what we're going to do next is putting all these, adding these column by column, because that's what's going to happen on the right hand side here, right? And the left hand side is already taken care of. So let's go ahead and put these all together and add them. But when we do, we're going to be faced with another challenge that we have to overcome. But don't worry, that's not super bad. And then we'll be done with the solution. So let me go ahead and put this all together. Now notice that my numerators are all odd coefficients, right? So it's kind of odd, isn't it? Well, it shouldn't be. Now, so I'm getting 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 minus r plus 3r over 1 minus r, and then I'm getting 5r squared over the same thing, 7r cubed, and I'll stop here. Okay. So this gives us a good pattern. Now notice that we can, uh, we already have a common denominator, so I can just add the numerators, and they all have the same denominator, 1 minus r. Great. So now look at the top. The top is uh, made up of odd coefficients, so how do I handle that sum, right? Let's go ahead and find it, and then we'll put those together. Now, how do I find this kind of sum? Well, here's what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to use my original sum, which is this one, right? And make the coefficients odd numbers. So how do you get odd numbers? Well, every odd number can be written as 2n plus 1, where n is an integer. So if you add 2r to this, for example, you'll get 3r. Add 2r squared twice, then you'll get 5r squared. Add the 2r cubed three times, and then you'll get 7r cubed, because we also have an r cubed, so on and so forth, right? Let's go ahead and do it for the fourth power as well, and then we'll put it all together. So now for the fourth power, of course, you have to do it four times because it is the fourth power. And obviously this is going to continue, so on and so forth. Now notice that when we find this sum, it's just going to be the numerator, and don't forget to divide it by 1 minus r. So let's go ahead and add these up together. What am I getting from here? Well, the first one gives me 1 plus r plus r squared, so I already know that it is equal to 1 over 1 minus r. The second one is 2r over 1 minus r, because I can pull out 2r, I can pull out 2r squared, Notice that inside the parentheses when you factor, you're going to be getting all these expressions. So I'm not really repeating that because that's already too long and I don't want to make this video way too long. Okay, great. So those are my sums from each one of these and you can test it for yourself too. So I'm getting basically this sum because they all have the same denominator. I'm going to be able to combine them. Okay. So sorry about messy writing. Uh, I'm kind of rushing through this. So here's my sum. Notice that we can add these, but unfortunately, the numerator is not super duper nice because the one kind of stands out. So what I have to do is I have to exclude the one here. Obviously, there's other ways to look at it, but I'd like to do that one. And when I do, I'm basically going to be factoring out a 2r and inside the parentheses, I should be getting the same sum again. And notice that this is being divided by 1 minus r. And note that this is just my sum from the odd numbers, and it's going to be divided by 1 minus r again. So this expression needs to be divided by 1 minus r one more time. Let's not forget that. And this is going to give me the answer. So now this expression here is going to be 1 plus 2r is going to be multiplied by 1 over 1 minus r. And I can kind of combine these and just write it as 1 minus r quantity squared. Great. Now let's go ahead and simplify this by making a common denominator. If you make a common denominator here, you're going to be getting 1 minus r plus 2r, because 2r is multiplied by 1, and that's going to be divided by 1 minus r, which is the common denominator, but it's going to be divided by 1 minus r quantity squared again, so that's going to give you 1 minus r quantity cubed. Finally, we get our answer, and 1 plus 4r plus 9r squared plus 16r cubed dot 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 is going to equal r plus 1 divided by 1 minus r to the third power. And there's another method to solve this problem by using derivatives, but again, I don't want to keep it too long, but we can talk about it in the comment section. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.